we'll show you how to style blog posts in Squarespace. So I'm here in the Clove demo site of Squarespace, and we're going to hop over to the blog. Now, I'll show you how to make changes to the posts within this blog, but if we had two blogs, you would actually have the ability to style the posts in another blog differently. So let's go ahead and click on any blog post to get started. Once we do that and we click edit on the blog post, you'll see an option to edit the section. So this is where we make those styling choices that apply to all the posts in this particular blog. So let's click the pencil icon and get started. So one thing that we can change is the content width. That means how wide the text and image and header are on the page. So this is currently narrow. We can make it medium, so you could see that made it larger. And you could also go wide or set a custom width. For blogs, I actually prefer a narrow width so your eye doesn't have to travel quite so far across the page. It makes it a little easier on the user to read those long stretches of text that you often find in blog posts. So text alignment. It's currently left. We could center it and that aligns the text of just this um, title of your post. So make that left. You could choose to center it. Meta position. So that is categories, date, things like that. That's your metadata for the blog post that you can choose to show or hide. Right now it's below the title, but we could change it to above the title if we wanted. Um, this post doesn't have a category selected. If it did, that would also appear here beside the date, but we could turn those off and hide the metadata if you didn't want to show those. Um, I often like to, if I'm just showing the date, I like to show it underneath. If I'm just showing the category, I kind of like to put that up at the top. Um, if you're showing both, I think the top is a nice place. So I often hide the dates on my blog posts um, just because they're not time sensitive. They're something that can somebody can refer back to you six months, a year later about how to add a blog sidebar or something like that. And the date doesn't really matter. So I, t I tend to hide the dates. Um, the other thing you can do is show an author name or author profile. So if I click to toggle on the author name, let's see, that appears here with my metadata, and the author profile appears here in the footer. And this is pulled from your contributor profile, so you can edit there in your global Squarespace settings. So we can toggle that off if we'd like, toggle off author name. If you are just one person writing your blog, you may want to toggle off the author name at the top and you could keep um, a bio at the bottom with some information about who you are and what you do to give people context when they come to the post or you can choose to just leave it off. I actually have those both turned off on my website and instead I've installed a sidebar to give people a little more context about my website as a whole. So the next thing is delimiter style. So let's go back up here. So this is the delimiter, the little thing that goes between metadata. So right now it's a bullet. We could change it to a pipe, to a dash, or just to a space. So you can choose what works best for your brand. Oh, I accidentally turned on author profile profile too. Um, and then the other thing that I uh, almost always change is the header spacing. I feel like it kind of floats really high um, above the post itself. So I actually almost always reduce that all the way to the lowest setting 10 pixels. So that is how you style your blog post with these global settings. Um, you can also make color adjustments. And again, this would apply to all of the posts in the blog. So if you wanted to make it a different color, you could. Um, I tend to pick typically this lightest one setting. They've changed the name of this a few times, but just typically the one that is the easiest to read. You want something that's really easy on people's eyes as they are reading your blog posts. So that's how you make the styling changes here. Um, I will have another video on all the blog post settings that you need to know about for each post and also how to style your blog as a whole. So thanks for watching and best of luck with your website.